giving up is not an option for some pro triathletes. But unfortunately, Patrick Lang's journey to Ironman success has been anything but typical, from nearly leaving his sports life to becoming the fastest man in Hawaii history. So in today's video, we'll go through some of Patrick Lang's finest triathlon races. Stay with me until the end of the video because we'll be sharing some advice and tips from Patrick's experience as a triathlete. Welcome to Triathlon Global Insights, the motivation channel for all triathletes. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to stay updated with what's happening in the triathlon world. We keep you updated about triathlon news, incredible races, training tips, and information about pro athletes. Patrick Lang, born in the central German city of Bad Wundegun in August 1985, is one of his countries and the sports best competitors. Patrick was the first person to breach the fabled eight-hour barrier in Kona when he won the Ironman Global Championship in 2018, his second world championship after winning Hawaii a year prior. That triumph brought him national acclaim as he was voted German Sportsman of the Year in 2018. Patrick was following the lead of fellow triathlete Jan Ferdino, who won the award in 2015, and Lang's boyhood hero Michael Schumacher, who won it in 1995, and 2004. Lang's skills are on the bike and the track. He was a talented duathlete who won the German National Championship three times from 2010 to 2012. Patrick is always a danger to run down his opponents, regardless of the course, and he excels in hot weather. So, the fact that he put on those two master classes in Kona comes as no surprise. He holds multiple course records in the final discipline across the world and is capable of running a sub-240 marathon to finish full-distance competitions. Patrick finished ninth in the Brno European Cup in the Czech Republic in 2008, his first top 10 performance in the professional ITU divisions. He was one of the German team that won the Military World Championship in Otepa, Estonia the same year before winning the German duathlon title three times in a row. Lang, on the other hand, made a name for himself on the German triathlon circuit in 2013, winning races in Musbach, Bomberg, and Romerman Leidenberg, and taking the overall title in the rhein neckar Triathlon Cup. With the addition of the Heidelberg Man Championship, he would replicate his exploits in the Romerman Ladenberg and the rhein neckar Triathlon Cup in 2014. In addition to triumphs at the Yas Marina Triathlon, Erdinger City Triathlon, and Frankfurt City Triathlon, the Ironman 70.3 Rugen victory in 2017 was followed by a first global title over the full course. Patrick made his Ironman World Championship debut in 2016 after qualifying for Kona with a stellar result at Ironman Texas. He was a minute behind eventual victor Jan Ferdino out of the water, but battled to keep up with others around him on the bike, sliding to the back of the pack ahead of the run. On his route to an improbable bronze medal, he ran a scorching marathon split to conclude the race, shattering the run course record with a timing of two hours, 39 minutes and 45 seconds. Lang returned, aiming to improve the color of his medal, and he did not disappoint. His day followed the same pattern, a good swim followed by a middle of the pack bike split. This set him up for a sub 240 marathon when he sped past Lionel Sanders and Sebastian Keenley to win his first race on the big island. Lang returned in 2018, seeking to regain the prized crown, and he did so with a bang. A strong swim leg was combined with a significantly better bike split to create an exciting marathon with seven or eight major contenders. On the other hand, the German had other intentions, showcasing his virtually unrivaled sprinting skills to win by more than four minutes. Moreover, he became the first person to complete the Ironman World Championship course in under eight hours in the process. In 2018, a win at the Waldecker Edersee Triathlon and a second world title in Hawaii capped a string of podium performances. In 2019, he won Ironman 70.3 Asia Pacific, but the worldwide COVID-19 epidemic ended the majority of his 2020 campaign. Lang's third journey to Kona in 2019 ended in disappointment as he attempted to capture his third world title in a row. Unfortunately, his training for the race was thwarted by flu-like symptoms causing him to withdraw from the bike leg after a competitive swim. Aside from winning, Lang is known for his vegetarianism, racing tactics, and a marriage proposal at the finish line, although he claims none of it is done to stir up controversy. However, after crossing the finish line in Kona, 
the extremely public marriage proposal appears to have extended Iron Man's notoriety beyond endurance athletes to the checkout line. Despite his marathon time from 2016, Patrick still holds the run personal best at Ironman Hawaii. His favorite bib number is the one he used to win his first world title in Hawaii in 2017. These are some of Patrick's tips and advice that can help you get through your triathlon journey. Number one, find a coach. You'll benefit from a running coach who can teach you proper form. Efficiency is the key to a quick and enjoyable Ironman run, and the best way to achieve it is to seek independent guidance. Number two, the self-assurance to be calm. The secret component for a good run is still not going out too soon at the outset. We all know it's difficult, but sticking to your pacing plan is essential if you want to run your greatest marathon. Number three, get your cycling nutrition basics down. In my opinion, 75% of the carbs for the whole race should be consumed on the bike. It's critical to pace the run right because you can't eat a lot of carbs during the marathon if your stomach is jumping around. Lang has developed a tough attitude to keep going, whether it's getting up early for morning training or finishing the last miles of an Ironman marathon. Here is his top three recommendations. You must like what you do. Triathlon is a simple swim, cycle, and run event. But if you want to prepare well for Ironman, you must love what you're doing. Every day, be appreciative. The sun is bright and I'm itching to get out and work out since I still like the sport. When I'm sick and can't work out, it serves as a reminder of how important exercise is to me, says Lang. Number three, complete what you've started. Whether training or racing, the sense of success that comes with completing a task reminds us of why we do it. There's nothing quite like completing your first Iron Man. Keep that notion in mind. That ends my video for today. What are your thoughts on Patrick's past races and his public marriage proposal? Leave a comment below to let us know. Thanks for watching and staying up with me until the end. You can like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you'll be updated on my next upload. Adios!